global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings today. We have a trending news here for you and the headline of the news reads full details on how Supreme Court arrive at emo judgment as it contradicts itself totally. All right, but before we continue with details of the news and further analysis, we'd like you to we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. All right. Nigeria Supreme Court released the details of the controversial Imo judgment that saw former Governor Ihedia of Imo State replaced with the APC candidate Governor Hope Ozodema. This, was, this has drawn wide criticism from many Nigerians and it also shows a lot of contradictions and wrong calculations by the Supreme Court. The opposition have consistently questioned the integrity and qualification of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanko Mohammed, who has so far set a terrible precedent by declaring election petition judgment in the case of Atiku Abubakar versus Buhari based on technicality instead of declaring a judgment that reflects fairness and the wish of the Nigerian voters. The Imo State judgment came as another rude shock to many Nigerians and especially the opposition, leading to a nationwide protest earlier last earlier in the week, that's about two weeks ago. In that judgment, the Supreme Court managed to declare the APC candidate who came forth at the gubernatorial elections at the winner. Many Nigerians have waited patiently to see the details of the judgment that led to that unreasonable judgment. Yesterday, the Supreme Court released the details of the judgment and it was ridiculed with wrong calculations and contradictions. Opposite of APC had claimed that he won elections in some fastidious 388 polling units and also, repre also presented results from those polling units. Note that the INEC lawyers deny knowledge of the result and its origin. Why APC candidate presented only 28 witnesses to collaborate that the 388 polling units existed. One of the APC witnesses was a policeman who revealed under cross-examination that he did not see the result on election day and he was not also at the polling unit during the elections. Wow. With this fact presented, one wonders how and why the Supreme Court adopted the fake result presented by the APC candidate without any serious verification, especially since the umpire in that election, INEC, denied it under oath. Whereas in the case of Atiku versus Buhari, the same Supreme Court ruled that Atiku must present witnesses in all the polling units where he claimed malpractice took place, and the witnesses must be people that saw the election result and even signed it. The same Supreme Court relied on this to dismiss Atiku's case, even though he presented over 70 witnesses to back up his claim. See the Supreme Court declaration Atiku's case here. Uh, they now mentioned, with regard to the evidence of uh, PWCC, declared that he was not on the field to gather the data he used to complete the result in, atten in attending the lower court to use to enter judgment for his first appellant. Okay, let's go back to the news. Why did they accept Uzodema's results and declare Tiku's own invalid? Also, from the details of the judgment release, we could easily see that the results Hope Uzodema presented were fake because, as some of the polling units, the number of total votes was higher than the number of registered voters. The discrepancies are too much to ignore. The result also showed that other political parties did not participate in elections in those polling units as they all scored zero. See some of the pages of the of the results submitted by Hope Uzade Mahir. Yeah, as you're looking, you will be seeing it as, as you're talking, you will be seeing it, you will be playing it out as you can see. And it's actually been, they say certified true copy, they also signed it. It says, see number 69, where the number of registered voters was 492. APC scored 819, PDP scored 7. This makes it 334 more votes than registered voters. This is the miscarriage of justice, and I hope the Nigerian Judiciary Commission does something to reverse this one-sided judgment and save the judiciary from shame. This terrible precedence must not be allowed to stand, as he has said. All right, um, let's look at some of the comments of Nigerians. A lot of persons are speaking and uh, 
we just want to consider one or two or three so this one said as far as I'm, as I'm concerned there is no chief judge in Nigeria those judges in Supreme Court they are not supreme at all as a matter of fact they are just bunch of stupid judges doing their master's bidding and uh, this one here says Justice Tango was not even qualified to study law as his Waik result, which is already in public domain, shows that he failed English and mathematics. English remained a cardinal entry requirement to study law. He got credit in Hausa mm, and four other irrelevant subjects. Okay, we should therefore not be surprised. If after collecting certain things, he cannot calculate figures properly, Justice Tanko is the worst dressed, most nepotic, most corrupt, and incompetent justice in, li in, living, in living memory. Hmm, that young man there is really talking. Uh, this one says, stop deceiving yourself. Go and prepare against 2024, 2023 on this. You have got your final judgment. You people in PDP, you should always be thinking that you are the only people who have brain, whereas you are brainless. Br brainless. You now went for that to say, it has been said several times that INEC presiding officers or returning officers cancel all the results from 388 polling units without power to do so. You said you did not say... You did not say anything to justify the cancellation of those results. You are saying the Supreme Court miscalculated. The other time, a, very, a, a journalist said Uzodima bribed the Supreme Court with 2.5 billion naira. Did he not know road to EFCC or ICPC offices at Abuja or elsewhere? Another one here says, all these arguments in the social media cannot reverse the situation. Atiku and PDP did, did more than these, but didn't help them either. Don't twist the judgment to confuse our brain. Publish the full judgment detail and let's draw our conclusions from now on. And uh, the last one which I'm going to read here says, if anybody believes court Sorry, that, that, that one is not explicit. Well, okay, the last one said, a well delivered judgment from Supreme Court. The writer is so blind and in and is responsible to questions over seven refit justice of Apex Court, who put all the complaints side by side and came out with credible and unbiased judgment. You are free to kill yourself. You don't like if you don't like what has come to stay. Mm, which means a lot of Nigerians are buying into what is currently happening right now and it wouldn't really augur well if we allowed you know sentiment political party sentiment to drive us because one good term deserves another and don't also forget what is good for the goose is also good for the gander you may be saying this because it's because it's happening to someone else in another political party. So even if the justice must be, you know, handled anyhow to give the other one victory, you feel that you are comfortable with it. But the truth remains that someday it may happen to you. It may not be in the political circle or in an election, but someday if you find yourself standing before a judge and he misjudged you and put some verdict that you know truly that it's very apparent that it was wrong, and he still goes ahead with it. How would you feel? So sometimes Nigerians should be thinking aright. Because if the writer of this report had clearly stated, you know, in fine terms exactly, that at a particular polling unit, what we had as accredited voters were about 400 and something. And then what, what came out as, you know, the total people who have voted uh, was about 811 or so which there was disparity of about 300 and something, which clearly shows that the number of votes were greater than that of the accredited voters. That is a clear display of fraud. Or if it's not called a fraud, then there was miscalculation, which I feel that it was right enough for those who are there to consider, reconsider it once again. If you go down our this thing, some of our feeds, you see um, a particular one that we did, I think about still the issue of this, you know, emo state gubernatorial uh, election, you know, uh, and it clearly spelled out certain things. 
and one of it was taken from one of it was an asset from um, Justice uh, Okuta, who came out plain to tell Nigerians that hey, that those guys up there, they are not just going to give you fair uh, judge uh, judgment, but at the same time, at one point or the other, they, that they may likely make mistakes because they are human. And that if they make mistakes and you write to them and say, these are some of the mistakes that you people made in the discharge of your responsibility or discharge of the judgment, that it is fair enough for them to take it into consideration and work with one or two persons. And if it is found wrong, they can still come up and say, after they review our former judgment, we have come to this conclusion that we have made a mistake and all of that. That is what we want to see in our judiciary. Then for us to see things not being put together are right. And at the same time, you know, you're putting it out and say, well, that's the judicial president. Look at what happened to Atiku. Thank God for this right up. The person in, in the case of Atiku, it was glaring. Despite the fact that he came up with more than 70, you know, uh, weaknesses who attested to the fact that some of the things that he had presented as evidence actually were real. But despite the fact all of that was presented, it was still being turned down, being that they said that the people he brought were not actually there when the elections were taking place. They were not the ones that appended their signatures on it and all of that. So that's one alone, you know, was what they, they said, that Atiku even doesn't have the right to come up with all those details and the people he presented, they did not bring up the details. Now, if you have treated that of Atiku that way and another one with the same likelihood comes up, and you treat it differently. How do, how do you expect Nigerians to react to this? Two different uh, issues. Two, same, same issues with different response to it. That's the way the question is. Looking at what these guys have presented, it clearly shows that there was a mistake somewhere. The question is, why is it that the Supreme Court have refused to acknowledge it? Well, um, that also actually came to my mind. You know, as soon as the brother issue for Atiku, I, I remember quickly that Atiku did not only just bring two, he brought 70. In fact, the whole place was flooded with his witnesses. And it's really amazing that um, same situation also occurred. But, you know, the, ba the bad part about this whole thing is the fact that uh, they said that under cross-examination, when they asked the policeman who insisted uh, um, saw the result for Hope was the man. He said he didn't see it on that day, mm -hmm. which means he saw it the next day, duly signed, which means he was not there when it was collated. Similar thing happened to the article. Some of the uh, uh, witnesses that they cross-examined for article said they were, they said they needed the, all the witnesses to be there present in uh, the election ground and during the collation result and they said some of them said they were not really there present when they were collating the result hence they trashed the witnesses and their verdicts now similar situation happened you upheld that of whose hope is a demand i don't understand why you know it clearly shows that it's as if there's something at stake it's as if they wanted a situation where Every party, any person is coming from a particular party. But then, if you say, if you put it in that light, what happens to Zamfara? You know, the Zamfara own upheld. But whatever witnesses uh, these guys brought at the Supreme Court, uh, what's it called, Hope uh, Hope became true. Regardless of the fact that the mathematical permutation does not jive. Yeah. Okay, please just talk about the case of, you know, the parties. How the, can in poly it, political you know, uh, polling unit it's only know, two parties? Only two parties. That's another thing. Okay, let's assume that the the, uh, the man, the other people are so unpopular, so useless, quote and unquote. Permit me, please, to use that word. Okay, it's now only two parties. Does it mean that none of them mistakenly? You know, one. Do you understand? Abga and, was there. And if Abga is even majorly uh, southeastern, yeah. they had a stronghold in southeast, but none even voted for Abga. Now they even made it so wonderful that only seven voted for here. There, okay, let's assume it's very possible. If you merge them together, it's over the accredited voters. Exactly. That makes it invalid. Exactly. So why are if we? If there's any result that should be rejected, it's it that should result be even that, that one. should be rejected. It should be that one. I would have even expected them to say, okay, do a rerun because this whole mathematical whatever it doesn't jump. But instead, you upheld. It clearly shows that there's more to it that meets the eyes. And after everything, you couldn't. You saw. In fact, 
I believe that is the protest that took place nationwide that made them not to play hanky panky subsequently because already some of the uh, Otom, that's a Benue governor, was already scared. Yes. You know, they were Bauchi like the Bauchi Bauchi because they were looking at it and say, Ah, with this kind of verdict, let us just forget this is a PDP thing. Let's all be waiting. Let them, let them just remove all the PDP governors and put the APC. But because of that nationwide protest, it may look as if it's nothing, but it helped. It made it made it create so much awareness yes, that yes. brought so much outcry in social media yes. that made Tanko not to come for subsequent exactly, judgment. Exactly. He was not more, he was no he more. give his reason, but we know we all well that was it. That the reason because why he opted out because, was because <laughs> he got so bad that Nigerians pull out his results. Yes. Said, How can somebody that this one should even be a Sharia judge and not a normal a Supreme Court judge? They started bringing us as bad Bible as white results. No mass and English, and is the one taking judgment apex level. Nigeria, God will help us. It's well, it may have grown in uh, in rank and file, you know, to that level. You know, you know, a lot of things can be influenced, but obviously, we all know that this was not right. And somebody came up and saying, and I'll stop all this social media, whether you like it or not, the social media has a way of influencing things. It has a way because for now, the truth is that if the Judiciary has been compromised. Even the legislature are now ready to work in with the executive. It therefore means that the common man cannot go to anybody, maybe to the, uh, the legislature representing his constituency and say, well, this is the issue we have on ground. Please, I want you to debate it out there. He may not really get favorable listing response from there. So the best thing is we go to the social media and we shout and scream about it until these things are corrected and they are done and right. Well, that's where we are going to leave it. A lot to be discussed, but we'd like to call it off. They go to our comments section. Let us interact. What's your position about a lot that is happening around and especially the details of the PDP? Uh, sorry, the Imo State Material. Uh,